helped us follow. That we have the first ever and like late night setting up a whaler. This goes to show hard work pays off. You don't have to be the biggest. Good morning. Happy Friday, wherever you're at. May not even be a Friday that when you're watching this. Lord knows I uh, probably won't get it edited in time to hit a Friday. We'll just have to see. Uh, we are once again in straw. I have been doing straw for the last six days. Tomorrow will be day seven that we nosed into this. I think even Roxy's tired of straw. I told Jason I wasn't real sure if I'd even do any videoing today, and he said, just bail your little heart out, and I have broken freaking string already. It's going real well, guys. Okay, we're going now. I think it was just because Jason greased the baler, and sometimes when we do that, it, like, takes a few bales to uh, get itself worked in. Um, so I had to clean out a couple of broken bales out of the accumulator. Really, that's probably the worst thing about the accumulator is when it does break, you have to clean it out. I just, I'm just hot. It is 86 degrees according to this lovely Massey tractor. Um, I had originally not planned to probably video a whole lot today just because I feel like that's all I've done this week is video content for you guys, which I love doing, don't get me wrong, but I don't want to burn you out either. But Jason said, just bail your little heart content. Just bail until your heart gives out. I think my heart gave out two days ago. But it is what it is. I'm not sure how many acres are here. I'd have to ask. I asked. There's this many. Um, I am going a little bit faster today. I am all of, almost a whole mile faster than I was yesterday's windrows. That doesn't mean once we get further out there that that's where I'll be. But right now we're at uh, 1.98 miles per hour. Yesterday I was literally at like 0.97. Just the windrows are just that fluffy, that big. Um, I run the baler about 570 RPM wise. That's Jason's sweet spot. It's what he likes to hear it at. It's kind of by you guys kind of have to learn to do it, you know, by feel and touch and hear and all the senses to make good, good hay, good straw. I like doing straw because it's easy. I mean, essentially, you don't have to mow it, you don't have to rake it, we don't fertilize it. The farmer takes care of that. And we just come in and bale the, bale the wheat residue. It also makes great cover um, when they're coming back in with double crop beans, which that's our friend Josh. You guys have seen him numerous times now between um, chasing the calf, high around. You guys can go watch that video. It's kind of funny. Um, him and his wife, Kaylee. Kaylee and I are very close. We ride together. Um, it's about, about the best friend I have in our area. So it's really nice that we can come in and there he works for the farm that we are uh, baling straw on. So he's chasing my behind around with the planter. Ground's very dry. He's having a lovely time. But us taking off this wheat stubble and making it into straw, they have said they have seen so much more improvement with their double crop beans. So we like doing it. Get, and this year we are literally, and that's why I'm failing so much. We are failing all the straw that we can get our hands on because of the drought. We're just not sure about the hay quality or being able to even fill the barn. So we may not um, need all this straw, but this is insurance. This is like our insurance that we'll be able to survive and hopefully keep doing what we want to do. And to make some sacrifices that's just part of farming. It is what it is. Jason is unloading the three trucks that we loaded yesterday with straw. So I'm just, I'm just out here on my own. Well, rocks and stuff. 
This tractor has been a godsend. Um, not that I didn't like the deer, don't get me wrong. It was, it's nice. And so is this one. This one's just the deluxe cab, so it has all the bells and whistles. So like the seat is even more comfortable. Um, it has the suspension in the tractor. So like even going over this little hill here, um, it's not bothering me. I will be honest, um, the heated seats do come on. Is it something I need? No, it's it's not, but I sure am enjoying it today after being in a tractor for the last six days, and I'm tired and my back hurts, so. Everything is literally at my fingertips. You know, make phone calls, run the joystick, it's all right here. Um, it does have guidance on it, but I don't have any of that set up. We don't run GPS personally. What, do you think you need my lunch? Mm -hmm. So Jason brought me some burgers that Carol grilled, made, I don't care. It was something to eat and I'm starving. So he went and picked up the straw that I finished baling yesterday. He needs some bales for that. gonna be a real pro at hooking and unhooking huh yeah I think it's been well I'm sorry it's had a long life well that's great <laughs> I'm not sure where he needs me to go so I guess we'll just follow that you all can see what that is. Nothing like a late night setting up a baler. What's the last day of straw? You go.
there's roughly 2,000 some bales out here from yesterday. That Jason's got to pick up. Um, we're actually calling in some friends. They're gonna come over. Kaylee may ride with me a little bit, um, but Josh is gonna help him haul in today and maybe even run the back end for us just so we can get, get caught up because they're calling for some decent chances of rain tonight. So we gotta get all this off the field so Josh can plant come Monday. Um, I gotta figure out where that spot is in the ditch because I definitely don't wanna hit it hard. So I fought yesterday all day with my 1840. Um, really the last couple days, well, the last couple of bailings has just been kind of a challenge for us. And we were talking, and we've been talking about a new baler. We've been talking about getting one, and we held off last year on getting a baler because we found one with Massey Ferguson. It, it's it's going to be, and I can't wait for you guys to see but we have it. Jason went and picked it up last night. She's here. We're going to talk about it all day. We're going to run her hard. She doesn't get an option. She's going to get right to work. And, uh, yeah. Um, Nick, and I don't know if Sean will be back out, but I know Nick will be here. Um, the hay guy, hay specialist with Massey Ferguson, he'll be here probably next week or just depending on when we have some good hay to follow up with. But let's just, let's knock this 1842S out of the wall today. For all you hay people out there, this is a brand new model. This is an 1842S by Massey Ferguson. It's a brand new model. They've been running it overseas. We've been following it on Hay Kings. It's been a lot of chatter. You ready? All right, let's go. We've been waiting to get our hands on this baler for quite some time. Um, it's actually how we all started the whole process with Massey Ferguson wanted to be able just to demo this baler and it just goes to show hard work pays off. You don't have to be the biggest. You just got to be good at what you do and uh, not to toot our own horn, but we are pretty good at what we do. I'll talk to you guys as the summer rolls through with this baler, the specs. It does look different than ours. I'll put ours next to it. You guys can see the difference. We'll talk about the capacity of 20% more. asking me if I can see good on the camera, which I can, um, because I cannot literally see behind the baler. Like there's, I can't see any of the shoot until it gets up into it. It's probably going to be a lot of video shots from the cab today, just because we have so much to play catch up on, but we are excited to announce that we have the first ever 1842S by Massey Ferguson here at Wizork Farms. Jason went and picked her up yesterday, well, late last night, and we spent all night working on her, getting her lined out, getting the Norton AE15. We're going to go. So we're still trying to get it set up just for our own preferences. Jason is measuring the bales out there. He really likes to shoot for that 32, 33 inch bale. This baler does. I'm obviously not getting out because there's no point in me getting in and out of the tractor while he's setting it up. This way we can keep moving every time he makes a little bit of an adjustment. Right now he's changing the bale length. He really likes that 32 to 33 inch. Um, these make a 14 by 18 square bale. Just like our other one. 